Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> and if you're here for the first time, welcome. Today I am sharing some amazing, incredible, happy mail that I'm really kind of glad I opened, not on camera, because you know how I get a little verklempt, and I was beyond verklempt with all of this. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to share some stuff with you. It's not in any particular order. And some of the stuff I might have already taken bits and pieces of and used. So if I didn't show something you gave me, it's not because I didn't love it. Um, it's because I loved it so much I'm probably using it. So the first thing I got that really surprised me and really touched me was a pocket letter from one of my subscribers who was a winner in my first giveaway. Uh, she made me a pocket letter, which I just thought was really sweet and completely... Um, unexpected and she used a lot of the stuff that I had given her in her winnings box which I thought was cute as well so she put me she put this little message for me warning newbie crafter um, and she's but she said she had fun which is of course the most important part but let me tell you she it's beautiful so she had it very very nicely wrapped in like a sleeve like which this part I am terrible at like I just like smoosh my tissue paper all over if I even do that with a letter um, I'm not pretty about that part but anyway this paper is really pretty and it says special delivery and um, I might end up sliding another letter in that to send out and so she made me this gorgeous gorgeous letter I really really love it and she used a lot of the stuff that I gave her like the washi and then on the back there's some more stuff um, but she did put a lot of bling which I love and I love this washi on the side I've never I love when I see washi that I've never seen before because you know I have so much washi um, so anyway she, she put this pocket believe in yourself which is really pretty and she has really nice handwriting and this pocket hello, hello Miss Catherine hello and then this one with these flowers coming up roses which this is just really really beautiful oh, sorry about that mm. do what makes you happy and then this one that has oh and this was in the packet for me too oh and look she has that same tape but like in gray oh I want to know where she got that I want some of that that's really pretty um so she wrote celebrate the every day which I think this one is really cute and every pocket I think has bling or if not bling Ooh. stickers of some sort and she put sparkle and she gave me some bling which is funny because I was just coloring clear bling red yesterday for a letter because all I have left is clear and then this pretty one with this gray backing paper and like a pearl and this like swirly I don't know what it is but it's really pretty and then this one that says joy with these little hearts and then she slipped a couple little things in the back here some heart tea which I think I'm gonna try and then she made this with some of the um, stuff I sent her she had mentioned to me in her <clears throat> excuse me in her message to me providing her uh, mailing address for her prizes that her and her husband both had served and so I made it a point to send her some patriotic goodies I sent her a roll of the star glitter tape and a sheet of these stickers um, so thank you and your husband both for your service um, and I'm glad you liked the supplies and then I got some like a little tag with some bling and a flower and she wrote a little bit about herself there and then she kind of used the stickers and the glitter tape to make that and she wrote a little bit more um, about herself and I don't know who Mandisa is but I want to know now and so I'm going to look that up <laughs> on my Spotify at work and then she wrote this 4th of July celebrate and remember this washi tape I bought but my niece has it I think I let her have it and I've been trying to get it back from her for ages even though I did buy it for her but so it's fun to see that and I love this I think I might kind of have to scrap lift that idea, a little fun circle of stuff with a little message inside. And then stars and stripes, and I think she drew this little flag, and some more of the um, glitter tape. So Margo, thank you so much, this is so beautiful, it really, really, really touched me. Um, that was really nice of you to send, um, completely unexpected. 
completely not I don't know how to say like I never <clears throat> I don't know no expectation of anything I guess I don't know how to better say it. I know it's better but I see I'm verklempt all over again so then I got a couple cards I just have to show these envelopes because this paper is so pretty it's like this royal purple and it's kind of like thin but I don't know it's really pretty I got a couple of cards from my friend Jacqueline this one says thinking of you and then she wrote me a very nice letter. Whoops, which got stuck. And then it kind of goes, woo! And it, it's got a really nice message. This little card is just to say, I hope you have a happy day. And it's insanely blinged out, which I love. And then she sent me this one, which had this belly band on it. And then you open it up, and I love this part. I was doing this like over and over like a kid when I got this. Woo! Create XOXO. Woo! Create XOXO. One more time. Woo! Create XOXO. And it's got these super pretty flowers, and I'm like fascinated by cards that do this kind of stuff. So that was really, really, really sweet. And this was all from today. And then also today, I had met a lovely woman on PocketLetterPals.com who had mentioned wanting to participate in the Holtz On event, the Tim Holtz swap, um, but did not have any um, supplies. And I have a ton of Tim Holtz stuff, like ridiculous amounts. So her and someone else had both mentioned, and I sent them both just a small flat rate box with some supplies and it wasn't even necessarily packed I mean I tried to put as much stuff as I could but I had some extra paints and stains um, so I, I sent those and some little embellishments and stuff and anyway she she said she really wanted to send me something in return and I had written on her a note and they're talking about how I collect the paints the dauber top stains and the inks um, ink pads so I guess I'm really not that bad because that still leaves the markers and the reinkers and the spray stain and she sa said she would really like to get me some markers and which markers would I like and I said no absolutely not that's really tempting I appreciate it but you know um, please you don't have to buy me any markers <laughs> and what what I've been trying to get is die cuts because I don't have a die cutting machine and she did and this was in the height of me getting like letters with everybody's little state thing so I asked her could you do you have could you find she has a like a silhouette and a cricket so I know you can find stuff online so I asked if she could find a Connecticut one and cut me some out and she's and maybe some like cupcake type birthday stuff because that's what I'm, you know, kind of into doing right now. So anyway, sorry, that was a whole lot of explanation without a lot of stuff showing. Um, so I got this huge package from her today. Huge. And she sent me these Connecticut die cuts, which I love. And I think she even... She had said something to me about her husband saying how far... Uh, my city is from her city. She's in Rhode Island, and I think she put this little dot. That's kind of like where my city is. I'm right in the middle of the state, so I wonder if that's what she did. Um, and then, oh, I didn't even notice these ones before. Some blank ones, so I could like draw like a little heart or something where I am. So I love these. I'm probably gonna like punch holes and put them as tags in my pocket letters. Um, thank you so much. And then she sent these, which are really cool and really delicate, so I'm going to try to be careful with them. Um, but it says CT, and it says Connecticut. So um, eventually when I start swapping state-themed letters, uh, these will be really, really fun to use in those. So then she sent me these, which I think are maybe for like twine samples, but I could probably use them for washi samples as well. Because they're these like spool shapes, but then they have this slit. So I and she sent white and craft, and she sent a ton of them. Um, so that's really cool. And I like I said, I think that like for like twine because of how you could wrap the thing around in there. Um, she sent me some banners, and I'm guessing probably because um, I had mentioned like wanting stuff to make birthday letters. Look at these banners, like 
how pretty, how cute. I don't even understand how you would make such a thing. Like, how would you have it so that it's all these different colors? Like, if it's a die cut. Like, I don't, I don't mean to sound stupid, but I don't get it. Like, how is that even possible? So she sent me a bunch of these little ones, and then some of these bigger ones. Um, they're different, too, the bigger ones. And obviously, as she said, I can cut these down if needed. If I just wanted to, you know, use this part, I could cut it and then use this part on something else. So she sent these banners, which is just incredible. And I still don't understand how they are created, <laughs> but that's okay. A little mystery is good in life. And then she also sent some loose pieces um, to make my own banner, which is really cute. Um, I really like those. I really like the colors, some of these colors that she picked. So then <clears throat> she sent me this, which I I literally haven't even opened to look at because I just could not get over the cuteness of the frog and the donut, and they're on paper clips, so I just, I can't even. I mean, how cute is that? I, I love this. So I, I do want to kind of open this a little bit with you guys and see um, what's in here. I was expecting, like, plain shapes, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand how does she have these that this is one piece. Like, donut. Like, are these, like, purchase die cuts? Or did she, I don't know. See, I don't know. Maybe with the, um, watermelon. <gasps> Look at the popsicle. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, those are like scoops. No, those are cakes. Oh my god, those are slices of cake. Oh my god. My sweet treats letter is going to be off the chain. Look at this. So maybe on your silhouette, like it prints as well as cuts, like it adds color? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask her. How did she do this? Look at these popsicles. More popsicles. Oh my god, this is insane. I am so spoiled. Like, I am the most spoiled person ever in the history of spoiled people. Like, I might be spoiled as a Kardashian. I swear I might. Look at this. How cute. Oh my god, look at these lemonade! <gasps> Little smiley lemonade guys! Oh my god! Okay, this is crazy. <gasps> look, she put this one together. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my god, I'm gonna hoard this forever. Look at him! He's so cute! This is like beyond. This is like so far beyond what I was expecting ever in a million years. I am... I am spoiled. I'm spoiled, I'm spoiled, I'm spoiled. I am so lucky to know so many generous people. Oh my god, look at how cute these are. Okay, I could be doing this... Oh my god, hold on. We gotta go a little further. Cupcakes. I could be doing this all night. I really could be. I mean, going through each one of these. Birthday cakes. Oh my god. My birthday pocket letters are going to be so much better. Oh my god. Now, like, flatter versions of the, of this guy. Okay, so good. So I can hoard one and still share a couple. And hot air balloons. Oh my god. That's so cool. Oh my god. All oh, this is like birth... Okay. I'm dying. Look, this one is dimensional. Look at this. All these little cupcakes. What do you call that? Kawaii? I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm very uh, out of touch. Happy birthday. Oh my god. These are great. Oh my god. These are great. Okay. So, despite our whole entire conversation about how she was not going to buy me the stress markers, she was going to send me die cuts, she bought me distress markers. Like, oh my god. Like, I can't even believe it. And I can't believe I've kept them in the package, but I really wanted to show you all, like, the whole shebang. Um, so I am going to end with this and make this be part one of two, because the other happy email I have to show, if you can imagine, is even more than that. So thank you all so much for watching, and come back soon to see the rest of the video. Bye!